police killing of George Floyd ignited a mass movement centered on persistent police violence against black Americans. The result was an intensified call for systemic change in policing. The police department in Schenectady, New York, a city of around 60,000 people, may be the first in the nation to use a citizen review panel to vet potential officers as part of an effort to address bias. The panel was the idea of community activist William Rivas. Lieutenant Paul Antonovich was responsible for implementing the process. Gentlemen, it's so nice to have you with me. Thank you. Tell me a little bit about uh, how would you describe the culture of the police department? Uh, I'd say it's pretty similar to most um, municipal police departments. Um, we have had a, a pretty big push recently where we're trying to engage with the community a lot more. Um, we've instituted a new uh, unit to engage the community and, and outreach and uh, kind of provide support, but also you know education to you know the community and assistance where it's needed um, with non-enforcement contacts. How long have you been a police officer? Seventeen and a half years. Wow, William, how would you describe the culture of the police department? Uh, the diversity is not reflecting that of the community, but um, I am confident they are doing the work to, to bring more people in. Um, because you have individuals like myself who come from the community, who are formerly incarcerated, or who just grew up in poverty. And, you know, we're creating solutions to some of these problems. And the police force has been open and, and welcoming in those solutions. So it's been great. The department hosted a series of meetings, uh, and that, that came from an order from, from the governor. One tangible action item was the civilian panel. Why don't you describe how the civilian panel works? It's five community members, um, different organizations. Diff uh, and again, this is why we're bringing more people in now to just create a more diverse panel uh, that truly reflects the diversity of our, of our population, our community. Um, but it's a conversation. Um, and every officer that comes in, kind of the first thing that we tell them is, you know, whatever whatever answers you prepared the night before, don't come in here with that. We're not in here to judge anyone. We're in here to have a discussion. And uh, you know, those. But aren't you literally in there to judge people? No, no. We. I, it, it's a learning experience for me because. I don't know what uh, a potential officer's expectation is coming into the community of Schenectady. I want to know. You know, why are you becoming an officer? You know, your upbringing, what was your engagement like with police officers in your community? You know, what made you choose this profession and why here? Um, and what's been great about that is, is myself and my panel members were really able to create a space where it's safe uh, to be honest and open. How much time do you get with each potential? 30 to 45 minutes. Oh, wow. That's a lot of time. How do people take it? I wouldn't say resistance, but some, you know, nerves, you know, associated with, you know, this is new to me. This is not something that I was prepared for. But uh, ultimately, I think it, it provided a, a very unique opportunity for us, uh, you know, in the administration to be able to uh, see how these candidates are interacting with community members. And as well stated, you know, the three E's that he likes to uh, talk about, the engagement, expectations, and um, experience. There's no better way for us to get our expectations out on the table with these new candidates than to show them how important the community's feedback is uh, by, by putting them through these interviews. What kinds of things were you learning about some of these candidates in that civilian panel process? We've definitely had uh, an inside look at the way candidates are interacting with the community members in both a positive and a negative. So we've seen people who might have seemed a little bit uh, shy or uh, introverted and kind of see them open up because of the dynamic that Will and, and his uh, fellow panel members are able to you know, pull out of them with the, the conversation that they, they develop. We've also had people who you know, seemed to be very, uh, you know, a good candidate and then kind of falter a little bit during the conversations and you know, maybe become defensive to certain things that um, you know, it was a little bit of a warning for us that you know, maybe this person might not be the, the best choice. Has there been anybody who's, who you've changed your mind about? There are uh, a few people that have went through the process and um, we decided not to go with. So there, it does hold weight. It's not, uh, like I said, a, something to placate everyone. There's a legitimacy to it. 
where does it go next? Do you see it expanding? The, the greatest part really about this project has been, you know, as for the community, we're no longer asking for a seat at the table. We've created our own table. And in that, we're able to create our own solution. So, you know, we have access to people who can do trainings and, and sensitivity situations for some of these officers because you may not be a good fit right now, but in giving some sort of education and support, you may create an opportunity where that officer can come back later on and then it makes sense to them. Gentlemen, thank you for joining me. Really appreciate it.